Early Colonist Life Over time, many immigrants moved to America from Europe. Many of them came from England. So they left this country over here and moved to America. When the people came over, they set up early colonies. The colonies in America were ruled by England. The colonies were not their own country, and they had to pay taxes and obey England. So even though they were in a very far away place, they still had to obey the country of England and their king and queen. A colonist is a person who travels to a new land in order to settle it. So a colonist is the person who does the traveling from one place to the other. When they arrive there, they set up a colony. A colony is a place that is ruled by another country. So the colonists leave their home country. They go to a new land and they set up a colony. The land that they set up, the colony, is ruled by the country that the colonists came from. The first colonists had a rough time and had to build their own houses. They cut down trees to help build their first homes. They couldn't simply move over and buy a house. They had to build it themselves. Finding food was also very tough. It took time for colonists to grow food and to learn how to hunt. At first, Native Americans brought food for the colonists to eat, but over time, they had to learn how to hunt and fish on their own. How long does it take to grow a garden? Not overnight, for sure. So it was a very tough time for the colonists finding food. Please take quiz one now. Coming to America. In 1775, the colonists went to war with England to fight for their freedom. The colonists won the war and created their own country. So the colonists decided that they didn't want to be ruled by the king and queen of England anymore. And they wanted to be their own country. That's why the war took place. The new country the colonists created became known as the United States of America. The first leaders in the United States wanted people to be free. So they wanted, they created a plan so that the country could be free. They gave people the right to do what they wanted to do, have the sorts of jobs they wanted to have. And this was very new, boys and girls. Most countries were ruled by kings and queens, and they were pretty strict. People who were unhappy in their own country heard about this new plan in the United States of America, a plan to be free, and they got very excited. Because they were so excited, they decided to immigrate to America. Immigration means that you move from one country and you come to live in another country. So because of that, plan of freedom, millions of people began to immigrate to America. Immigration is when one person leaves one country to live in another. Between the years of 1892 and 1954, millions of people immigrated to the United States of America. Also, boys and girls, most people call the United States of America just America. Coming to America. Many of the immigrants coming to America came to New York. Before they became begin their new lives in America, they went to a place called Ellis Island. Ellis Island helped count how many people were coming to America. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is located near Ellis Island in the New York Harbor. The Statue of Liberty is a large statue that is a symbol of our freedom in America. It was one of the first thing immigrants saw when they came to America, a statue of freedom. The statue was also a gift from the country of France when we became a country. They gave it to us. Time for activity two.